Hell of a thing, Killer Mike has now responded to the overzealous security guard who attempted to take one from the A, but it couldn't happen. Put it up full mass. I would give you the explanation. It is as we said yesterday. Uh, Per TMZ, Killer Mike clarified what happened at the Grammys that landed him in cuffs. And he said, it can all be chalked up to confusion and someone trying too hard to play police officer. He told TMZ, quote, as you can imagine, there was a lot going on there. And there was some confusion around which door my team and I should enter. We experienced an overzealous security guard, but my team and I have the utmost confidence that I will ultimately be cleared of all wrongdoing. Until that time, keep listening to Michael and keep going after your dreams. I got some more background, but I want to say this. My position has been clear and steady since day one. We all know the character of Killer Mike. Killer Mike is not an individual who will go up to someone and start combat, altercation, he's not the kind of person. Also, Michael is probably the best album I have heard in, I gotta say, maybe seven years. And when Killer Mike first came out with this album, I called him, we talked. The album brought tears to my eyes. I was literally in my second to last semester in law school, studying for final exams, and I heard Um, His track that talked about his own dilemmas that he's now just facing as a man. Spoke directly to me. It was one of the most authentic albums ever produced. So I'm glad he swept three Grammys. All right, there's more. A source close to TMZ, excuse me, a source close to KM tells us TMZ that he and his team ran into a little mishap while trying to enter the venue. Although it's unclear if they were re-entering or coming in for the first time. In any case, TMZ, uh, they were told this there was considerable confusion about where to go, how to get in. Um, and as Mike and company were trying to figure this out, they encountered a security guard who apparently started giving them a hard time with Mike choosing to keep it pushing, keep it moving. All right. So TMZ sources said the whole situation was completely overblown and Mike's team is confident as is he that his name will be cleared when the facts are laid out or laid bare. Mike is facing a misdemeanor battery charge after a citizen's arrest was conducted and whole um, and whole thing kind of put a damper on his big Grammy wins. He's still happy about the accolades for Michael. Not to mention also a very successful surgery for his son. All right, so they are now breathing a collective sigh of relief after the surgery to give his son a new kidney went successfully. Mike told TMZ, his 21 year old son, uh, Michael Pony Boy Render, uh, came through the transplant and, quote, did really well, end quote. He says Pony will be in recovery for a few hours before he's moved back to his hospital room. Um, But they're already seeing some positive signs. Mike says, it looks like the kidney is already working. Very happy for the family, very happy for the successful surgery. Thoughts and prayers are continued with our dear brother. Now, let's talk about this damn security guard. I need to know that security guard's name. I would like to know the security guard's company, what private entity hired um, or contracted with the facility. These are things I would like to know for full scope. Right now, I do not have a police report available. Police reports sometimes can take a week, maybe two weeks to generate. We do not have a full police report where that information would be available. So I'm asking if anyone has that information to send it here to Indisputable so that we can review and know exactly who this overzealous security officer may have been. Um, In addition to that, I'm very thankful for the continued leadership of Killer Mike, as I said yesterday. Killer Mike and I were at the Georgia Juvenile Detention Center about a month and a half ago, providing a new avenue through a program for culinary arts so that those who have offended as a juvenile, that was me at a time, that was Killer Mike at a time. They have an opportunity to not only learn a skill, but to finish school and to also have a place to stay. 
That's the kind of character Killer Mike is. Shame on the security guard for being overzealous and trying to ruin, trying to ruin one of the most iconic nights in hip hop. All right, Sharon, it was a beautiful night. It was a wonderful win for the A, and by proxy, it was a wonderful win for hip hop, just given the content of Killer Mike's messaging. What say yeah. you? Uh, well, I was just, I was listening to you with one ear. I was uh, working the phones. I believe I have some information for you. Nice. I believe the first name of the security guard is Otis. And you've seen him on the Martin show, okay? <laughs> oh, man. Now, oh, 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 this is so crazy. Killer Mike is everything that you just said, okay? Yeah. Otis, we do need to know more, but we already know, don't we? Overzealous, abrasive, usually acts before investigating, okay? And thinks that everyone is a young man and they better sit down and shut up, especially black men. Yeah. Um, it's a shame that Killer Mike has to go through this, but his perspective is clear. And I am, I am so happy to hear about his son. Yeah, And we should focus on that and the Grammy wins. That's right, there you go. Keep the main thing, the main thing. We'll deal with the other stuff, all right? But I'm glad Killer Mike is looking at what's important in life. Very proud of him.